link in the description for the non-timer version of this uh, video. Or pull up your copy of Amphibia Episode 7, Dating Season 4, slash Anne vs. Wild. Which I like the pun on Man vs. Wild, you know, the TV show. And press play on it when I press play when the timer reaches zero. Mm hmm. Now. Dating season. Probably, uh, that girl that with the, the with Sprague that she's got the cool hair. Probably what's going on. Um, and Anne versus Wild, I'm hoping it's a flashback episode to when she first got to this world. Getting more of that. Getting the Rambo and Anbo, if you will. Not Franbo. I don't know if you played that game, but Hopefully not that. That would be a very disturbing turn for this show to make. I love Franbo, but I don't want everything to be Franbo. Hope her hair's fixed by season two. <laughs> doom, ba -doom. Is this Anne versus Wild? I didn't read the title card, that's my bad. Ann Bush. <laughs> ah. Cool. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I get it. That's probably where they're going with this, but you can have a friend who is a girl. That's great. Nice. Ooh, maybe they will. It will be that they're just actually just regular friends. I like that better. Yep. The pink hair girl, right? Not pink hair, but like weird hair. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because uh, 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 all sorts of relationships jump from, uh, oh, hello, date me. <laughs> I'm surprised it's only two thirds.
That's actually that, that was kind of cool. For the record, I am counting bar conversations that go well as the small friendship period in my approximation. Yeah, right? You do look stupid. Why are they so hardcore about this? What are they going to do about the engagement, though? I wonder if they, they actually do consider that when they're naming characters at this point because of how big shipping has become. Sprivy. How you doing, Pleakley? Slash almighty tallest purple. <laughs> <laughs> right? Heck yes. <laughs> to be fair, from their too stupid perspective that this is a good idea, from that perspective, it is important that the courtship ritual gets finished properly. They need to fix that stupid idea, but to be fair, going from that idea... <laughs> oh no, uh, what are they thinking? Oh no. Oh, that could have been a darker joke. <laughs> awesome. So is this the part where they actually bond in a romantic way? Don't you know, single people, single people of the opposite sex 
uh, who are friends don't exist. Wow. That one I actually agree with. Not as hardcore as that, but... <laughs> but for the record i don't think ro only romantic relationships define you i think all relationships in other words the company you keep defines you it's not the only defining factor Ah. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Yep. Okay, that's pretty cool how they ended that. That was pretty cool. Lush. Cool. Okay. Right. <laughs> Just leave the thing behind, right? Done. Those are big ticks. Or are those rhinoceros beetles? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Balloon girl.
That's just bad luck. I don't think any of them would have been able to handle that either. That is not bad luck. That's that is bad luck. <laughs> I guess that would be the first time she would have been alone since at least the Rambo portion of her stay in this world. Oh dear. No. I mean, she knows how to lay traps. Like that, you don't. That that that's learned. Like she had to have had some camping experience in the previous world. Not much. I'm not saying she should be an expert or not having a lot of trouble here, but a little. She lived. She slept in a cave. Maybe I'm being dumb, but I don't think so. Ah. <laughs> oh, this is going to be excellent. Ooh, his tongue's mangled. Do you like pancakes? No. <laughs> oh dear. She's going to use the bath bomb on one of them. So that's probably a trick. Mud man. Is this a Scooby-Doo mystery? Is it just someone screwing with them? I think that it's, it's r highway robbery or something. This is too... I, yes, it's your fault that they're here, but this is so dumb that it's not really all your fault. Not even giving you over 50% on this one. Ta-da! That's not really how bath bombs work. And... 
yeah. Yeah, that's at least it's the realistic result. Uh That must have been a cost a fortune. No, oh, really. So they really were just mud people that were eating people. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Pancakes! Uh huh. I like this guy. That was that was that was fun. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, we're getting in woo. Okay, okay. Talk. Is Hop Pop about to go to the other world? Okay, okay, that would have been. We're gonna cut to her friend again. It's been a while since I've done any plot stuff and I suspect we're getting a cliffhanger out of this. Or, okay, so he was lying. Liar face, got it. Calamity box? Oh no, so he's gonna like try and steal it and throw it into a pit of fire or something like that? Aha! Your suggestion fire pit has already been already been dealt with! All you have is the fireplace and it'll make a terrible smoke. You don't wanna do that, right? I don't know. I've been so plot deprived over here. I'm just like anything. <laughs> My game plan is to go to episode 10, but I might break before then. I need sleep eventually. Later, dudes. And do that.